Hey, what's up guys? It's Annalise. So, I've been a smartphone user for about four-ish years now. I had my iPhone 4S, now I have my iPhone 6. I've always been an Apple person. And one thing I've always kind of gravitated towards when it comes to a smartphone is, of course, all the awesome applications you can get for your smartphones. I love trying out new apps and new games and tools and utilities and all that stuff, free, paid for, whatever. I love trying all this stuff out. Over time, I have to come up with some favorites, right? That is what I'm here today to tell you guys about. So I've kind of compiled a list of 10 of some of my favorite apps. These aren't in any particular order. I was trying to go for some of the apps that it's like not the everyday basics app that everybody has on their phone, like Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, all, blah, 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 all that stuff. I have way more than 10 favorite apps, so I might be making a part two and a part three and a part four and a part five and a part many, dot, dot, dot. Just depends on if you guys like this video. So without further ado, here are 10 of some of my favorite apps. Now, all these apps, some of them are paid for, some of them are free. All of them are iOS apps, so that means they can go on an iPhone or an iPad. Um, I don't know if some of them are Android compatible, so I'm sorry if you have an Android and you really like these apps I'm about to show you. I have, through the magic of iOS 8 on my iPhone 6 and OS 10 Yosemite on my iMac, I can screen record my screen here onto the computer, and so I'm going to put that here now. It's their magic, am I right? Using Touch ID so you don't see my password. Oh, that's my work schedule. Okay, so, um... Starting with the very first app on this list is this app called Carrot that I actually discovered um, like a month ago now and I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's like Carrot Cubed? I don't know. Let's open it up. So it looks like this and pretty much what this is is it's kind of like if you like keeping track of your fitness or your, you're trying to do weight loss or weight management or whatever, it's kind of a fitness app. It's not one of the ones that like tracks your food intake and things like that, but it does track your steps and it does track your weight and you can also do workouts from it. So this is your little homepage. You have your little fat guy avatar and I'm assuming as you lose more weight, you get the avatar skinnier. That's what I would hope. And you have like your you, which you go to here and it tells you how many steps you took today, how much weight you've lost so far, it gives you a little name, which is Meatbag, and pretty much like the whole shtick behind this app and why it's like so funny is because it's a jerk. The, the, the app is kind of an asshole. It's like, um, the best explanation I can think of is Karen from Plankton's Computer. Plankton's wife from Spongebob, but it's like a little animated robot voice that is mean to you to try to get you to lose weight and be active and stuff like that. So I did not choose the name Meatbag. Also, I put up a picture of my own profile and that's why it's a picture of Alan Thick because I put up a picture and it goes, that's disgusting you Meatbag. I'm gonna put up a picture of the Canadian superstar or whatever, Alan Thick or something like that. You get like points after you lose weight and whatever and you can buy like more workouts. And there's also this cool thing in the middle, the big start workout button that's like staring you in the face. If you hit that, you get seven minutes in hell, which is pretty much seven different workouts, or actually no, not seven different workouts, it's like a lot more than that. Twelve different workouts, and not all of them take a minute, and it's pretty much like 50 sit-ups, 50 push-ups, um, standing onto a chair, and all these are things that you can do from home, or you can modify them to do them at the gym, that's what I was doing. It's a fun little thing, and you can unlock all these ones that are, that are like here, the more points you get, so like the more weight you lose, and the more workouts you do, like you get points from that, but it is $2.99 in the app store, it's, um, if you're into fitness and stuff like that, it's 100% worth it. Um, so moving on to the next app. It's a first page app, so you know it's important. It is Spotify. Now, if you don't know what Spotify is, I'm sorry. I just found out about Spotify like four months ago now, and it's a game changer. It totally is. So what Spotify is, for those of you who don't know, pretty much it's its music service. You search music you like, you can save it onto your phone, you can save it in playlists, you can save the albums. Spotify free. <laughs> and Spotify Premium, and Spotify Premium is $5 for students, $10 for everybody else, and pretty much what it does is you can play any song you want, you can save all the music you want, you can actually save it on to the local storage onto your device through the app. That's one thing I really like about it because there's some music that maybe I always don't want to buy yet because I don't know if it's worth it. I really like this because if you get the Spotify Premium, which is totally worth it, you have the option to make it available offline, so it's saving it to your phone. So normally you can just play music over like your cellular data or the Wi-Fi um, that you have your phone connected to, but by 
having it available offline, that means if I were to disconnect from the internet right now, I can still play all this music. And it, I have like one, singular songs, I have different albums that I listen to. It's a really good interface when it comes to the actual app. I like the way it's kind of laid out. You can also browse different music. That's how I've found songs before, just kind of by searching different top radios, new releases, top lists, things like that. So Spotify is just a really good app. The app itself, it is free though. Um, the next app that I absolutely love that I think you guys should already know about is the podcast app. Now, this is an app that used to not be built into the operating system, but with iOS 8, it became built into the operating system. So you get it downloaded whether you want it or not. Um, the podcast app is where you store all your favorite podcasts, you download them onto your phone, or you can also play them without having them downloaded too. It's just optional. I have 128 gigabytes on my phone, so I download a lot of stuff because I've got room to spare. What's great about podcasts is they're free, so I've not found a paid for podcast yet. But free podcasts, free entertainment, I like it. I definitely, I use the podcast app all the time, that's why it's in my faves. Um, moving on, the next app that I absolutely am infatuated with is the Time Hop app. Now, if you're not familiar with Time Hop, it's this little dinosaur guy. And the reason why I like this app so much is it's what you do is you log in to all your social media, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, onto this app. And every day that you log into it, every time, every time you open up the app on a new day, it will show you all the stuff until like five years back that you posted on all your social medias on that day. I see on Facebook four years ago I posted something and posted a bajillion pictures and then you can even see at the very bottom of your screen it'll give you like news from a year really far back like maybe 2005 or maybe like 1935. I really like it because it's kind of like a little blast from the past which is super cute. The app itself is free. I'm almost positive it's on Android as well and it doesn't cost anything or anything like that, but it's, yeah, it's just a really cute app to like, every morning I like look forward to seeing what I posted. The next app that I absolutely love is the ESPN Sports Center app. Now, as you guys probably know, I like the sports most of all the football, the American football that is. Pretty much what this app does is you can get notifications about your favorite teams, about the games that they're playing, and like when kickoff is, or when the start of the game is, or different news about sports, and then you can also see on this homepage here, your um, favorite teams is at the very top, then I have NFL because that's on my favorite like different sports. You can kind of like customize your whole account the way you want your sports center to look. So I see that, of course, the Patriots won against the Ravens because that's that was an easy guess. Um, it tells you the final game. It will tell you, like, for instance, the Colts and the Broncos are playing right now. You see the little football next to the 10. That means the Broncos have the ball. They're telling you what channel it's on, CBS, where they are in the game. And if you even click on it, you can get kind of like a where the ball is at the field and like a little bit more of a detailed look. and all that fun stuff. So I just like it because it's a cool way to keep updated on the games and things like that. And my phone always rings and like, it'll be like, Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. like, I don't even know. Like it's a very like, okay, moving on the next app that I absolutely love. And I think that if it's on Android, every person ha should have it on their phone. If they like saving money, it is called Gas Buddy. Now what this app does is it helps you find the nearest cheapest gas to your location. So this is what the front page looks like, but if I hit the find if I hit the find gas near me button, what it'll do is it will like track my location, blah blah blah, and it lists gas stations by their closest location, and then you can also change it to by the cheapest pricing. So I can see for instance on Auburn Boulevard near San Thomas drive. It's 219. One minute ago somebody posted that pricing to, so you know it's pretty accurate and that's going to be at Costco. So you can just kind of scroll through this list, see where the different prices are. I use this Gas Buddy app like every time I'm going to go get gas because I'm not trying to pay. You know when you like go to a gas station, it's like $2.33 or something like that. And then you drive down the street like after you're done getting gas and it's like four cents cheaper and how frustrating that is. This app prevents that. So download it. So this next app I absolutely love, um, it is called Translator by iHandy and it is a super, 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 super useful app. You can get the free p 
free version or the paid version. I think the paid version is like $1.99 and it's totally worth it. What I really like about this app because it's a good way to, for instance, okay, I work in retail where we, the store that I work in, gets a lot of traffic from people from all over the world, different languages, anything like that. So we don't have every person in our store that can speak another language. I use this app a lot when maybe there's somebody who like needs Spanish or needs a Russian translator and there's nobody available and I just need to communicate with them. What I also like is I can speak something into here so I can say, hello, my name is Annalise. Wow, I got my name right! Siri got my name right! And then, what I can do, there's where it says I have it on Russian for no reason, but how it says to Russian and there's a speaker, I can hit that button and then it will start talking in Russian. It comes in really handy, it totally does. Um, but yeah, I would totally recommend that app. My next app that is actually something that I discovered not too long ago from a friend, it's called Cash. Now, if anybody's familiar with the Square card reader, it's by the same people who made Square. What this app does is pretty much you can connect a bank account to here, and I always get into the situation where maybe I will be out with a friend and we go to a restaurant and we both only have our cards. And we don't want to make it hard for the waiter and be like, oh, well, can you split this two ways and I had these things? Like, I don't know, like things like that. Sometimes you don't always have cash on you and it would just work easier for one person to pay. Or so some restaurants, if you split a check too many ways, they charge you. So what this cash app does is I can actually send or request cash to and from people. So, for instance, if I wanted to go, oh, I need to send $5 to my friend who spotted me for a drink the other day, or maybe I didn't have any cash, and you're at the drive-thru or something like that. That's why this app comes in handy, because I can just hit send, it will pull up your whole contacts list, and under each person's name who actually uses the app, it'll say uses cash. Otherwise, you can invite people. They do have to use the cash app for this to work, but it goes straight into their bank account. It doesn't go in the cash app. It's not anything you have to refill. It's really safe, I really like it, and it works like instantly. It's something new that I discovered and I'm trying to get everybody on board because that way it would just make, I feel like it would make life a lot easier. But the Cash app itself is free in the App Store. Now my next favorite app is Afterlight. Now I think when I got this app, it was an app that I got like the download code from Starbucks or something, you know, they have those little cards. Um, but I think it might be free free or 99 cents. I'm not sure. Either way, it's worth downloading because with this app, it's pretty much you choose your photo. So I'll just look through here. Okay. So I'll just choose this super cute photo of me and my friends from New Year's. And so if I hit the use button, what it'll do is we'll pull up the picture and you have all these different filters that you can choose between. There's like this one and this one. And like, there's just so many different kinds of filters. And then you can also do like adjusting of exposure, or you can change the contrast, or you can change highlights, or you can do like temperature, and like it's it's a really nice application. You can also add like different little effects on it, like these light strips thingies, or you can do things like rotating the picture, flipping it, doing a little mirror thing, like sight flipping it this way or flipping it this way. I'm really good at explaining that. You can also crop the pictures, add a different like circle-y thing to it. So I can like do this. You can do like these shapes or just nothing or whatever. So yes, that is a thing that I like using. So Afterlight, it's in the app. I just feel like it's a really pretty interface too. I just, I don't, I don't know, I like fonts and like shapes and I'm very specific with things like that and definitely I love it. Now for the last and final app on this list of my favorite applications is an app that I keep on my first homepage because it's oh so special. It's called Hamhorn. Let me introduce you. So if you didn't notice my volume selector button thingy come up when I opened up this application, it's because it turns up your volume all the way automatically, even if it's all the way down. It overrides it. Um, because it is a wrap air horn. Now, I tried this just a second ago, and I found out that when my phone is plugged into the video thing here, you cannot hear it, and you need to hear it. So, I'm just gonna... By hitting the 
little orange button in the middle. There's two different horns. There's the wrap air horn and there's the ham horn. So by hitting wrap air horn, you can use this at any occasion like bat mitzvahs, birthday parties, graduation parties, church, um, racetracks, um, football games, um, in the mall, really anywhere it's appropriate. Random dance. I just scared the shit out of my dog. I'm sorry. But that is what the beauty of this application is. And guess what? It is a free application. Yeah, that's right. Game changer. Your life just got changed because the wrap air horn. Now there's also another one. It's called ham horn. I personally use the wrap air horn most. Um, but the ham air horn, I don't understand it, but it's somebody saying the word ham. I don't get it. And then there's another one called Uncle Nick. And then there's one that's called Willem. <gasps> that one scared the heck out of me the first time I heard it because I was like, I was like, what am I gonna expect? And then all of a sudden it sounds like somebody's getting murdered. <gasps> Not a fan of that one. And then you can also do a personalized recording so you can record something and then have it repeat multiple times. <gasps> oh, I whistled into it, that's what it was. But yeah, the app is, as you see, very simplistic because really, do you need much for this app? Yeah, it's right there on the front, because how can you not? So that is it. That is 10 of some of my favorite apps on my iPhone, but there are definitely a ton more that I'd like to share with you guys. So if you do like this video, please give the video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section that you liked it. So that way I will know that you wanna see another one and see all the cool apps that I have to show you. I'm just wondering, do any of you guys already know of these apps or have them on your phone? If you do, put that down in the comment section down below. Um, and then also, if you don't have any of these apps, but you do have some favorite apps, whether they are Android or iOS, put that down in the comment section down below too. So, flailing hands! So that way I can go check it out and everybody else can go check it out and see what is so great about it that you think it's so awesome. So that's it for me. Um, like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up, share with all your friends. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, it only takes a minute, and you'll know when I post my next video. Thank you so much for watching, stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!